panel viewers. Well, Grip is a game we've covered in the past. It's a game I'm massively looking forward to this year. And again, there was an update around Christmas time and I just thought I'd catch up on some of this. So here you see a little bit of the gameplay, a bit of first person cam. Look at the feeling of speed and detail and field of view and quality of production. Fantastic. Great to see how this is coming along. I'm loving this feeling of speed here. Rolling onto the tunnel. And this is running on my GTX uh, 780s. So if you've got a powerful graphics card, it's great to see the improvement. Uh, new UI being put in place as well. New circuits, lots of updates, alterations to circuits. Uh, there's always optimization, improvements being done. I look at some of the circuits I looked at a while ago. It's really great to see they've come along. I'm loving the design ethics. Uh, one of them is uh, the sort of oval, if you like. It's pretty basic on the one hand, but I still found it fun to play. I like the way it's designed. On a track like this, it'd be nice if you had more cars available. Uh, more speed, more cars, I think, on an oval to really make it uh, extra visceral you need more going on perhaps changing things and stuff to bring everybody together and stuff like that there's a lot you can do with a circuit like this but i still just like the general feeling of speed and just the way it worked driving on walls all the way around grip of course for those of you who don't know it's kind of a homage as they like to say to roll cage uh, which was out on the ps1 an enjoyable game on the ps1 uh, but not necessarily always the sum of its parts. Played the demo a lot more than the final game as it happens. Uh, so it was great to see this. You know, it harks back to the simple yet fun gameplay. Cool music in it. Though I know it's, I'm aware it's not the final music in the game. Quite a lot of different improvements have been made as well in terms of handling improvements, uh, extra control here and there. Uh, the, uh, you know, just lots of general little things have been improved and uh, as I'm having a little bit of a mess about there I don't know what I'm doing there and these various different clips that have been cut together but I was just checking out the different circuits seeing how it's been improved I was trying the race modes I was trying the and I can't remember all the problem mode names because I recorded this video a couple of weeks ago all the modes of weapons and stuff like that uh, generally speaking it's all been improved it's just finding your line uh, and you know, sometimes, you know, I, I, when I first played it, I really enjoyed it, but I found occasionally that it felt like uh, things would be a little bit unfair sometimes when you were taken out and, you know, you felt like you had no chance. Uh, you know, occasionally there's still a moment like that, but it's certainly better than it was. This is one of the new circuits that's in production. This is an unfinished circuit, uh, but, I, it's, you know, again, I'm, I'm finding it fun already. It's the open plan, speed of the environments. I like some of the tubes that you're going to drive through in just a moment. Here they are. Again, really nice visuals. Look at the feeling of speed there. Wonderful. This kind of wobble it gives to the feeling of speed. And the way and the way you're at the, the physics of your craft work in terms of writing itself. I like that. Going through a range of different environments. Again, this is another environment still in development. Great. Loving the detail. Really nice levels of graphical detail. I mean, for an indie game, superb, superb. I mean, this is right up there with, for me, this and Redout are two of the top sort of indie developments I'm looking at at the moment and enjoying. Really great potential for this uh, when it comes out on PC and console. I hope they can see it through. Speed. No control, but speed. There's a little, little bit of control, but it's more, sometimes you just have to kind of go for it. There is a lot of risk reward in this. Oh, and that, and that was a bit of a, not very much reward there, but that's what it's all about. If you're going super fast, you know, it's really just about keeping it together. I, I actually didn't actually know where I was going. I think that was my first lap playing it. I get hit by a rocket, it's taking me out completely. Avoiding those red lines, they will just blow you up. There's little mines there, basically. The music, the vibe, you know, I, I was talking uh, about Daytona USA recently as being a game that didn't know what made the success, the, the original successful. This game does know and it, it does recognize what it needs to be so I'm getting affected by some electrical weapon there, like a shockwave. I've been shot up. 
But this game does know artistically what made the original great. And it's being clearly made by guys who are very passionate artistically, visually, but in terms of the gameplay, bringing it all together. And it's come forward a long way. Now there's a new cockpit view or a couple of new views in here as well. And a couple of new circuits I'll look at later in the video. But I can't praise this enough. I just love what they've done. It is still quite difficult. I think this, there's definitely some... I, I saw people mention when they saw the trailer, they said it looks really easy. This is not. In fact, it's probably one of the most difficult racing games out there in a way because, you know, there's so many challenges to trip you up. Uh, and the handling probably... The handling probably needs a bit more precision uh, in terms of overall grip again. You know, not like it was, but certainly it was understeering massively before as well. Uh, there is some understeer at high speeds, I'm noticing. Uh, and that's actually one of my complaints, actually, if the developers uh, consider it, is um, when you're at high speed and you lift off the power, you really have to slow down a lot to try getting into a corner. There's no kind of weight shift sort of helping the back end step out. As soon as you're on the power, the, the front just understeers. And when you come off the power, it makes no difference if your, your speed threshold's a certain height. Whereas there would be a deceleration and a, and, a, and a weight moving forward or changing placement in the car to alter the, the load of it, which would definitely lean you a bit more into the corner because of the deceleration. So it's something that I think they need to think about, which would just make for more in the way of a logical, uh, you know, uh, sort of approach to the handling, which sometimes it just needed a bit more of that. So that for my main... One of my main issues really was just sort of that, that understeer element and just getting that, that just right with the handling. It will make the car more nimble and I, I think it will help make it more precise in terms of overall handling as well. I think, I think handling is, it's good fun, but it could do with a bit more precision at times. Especially on circuits like this, you know, you have that, you've got, you're very narrow, you've got two walls. If you start bumping on one wall, you're going to hit the other wall. And that's always something that's uh, is something that's always very tricky. On these sections, you have to hit those little ramps, otherwise you're just going to fly off the course. In that case, you're okay because you land sideways, but you're not as quick. This is one of the new courses in production again. I love this course. I thought this was brilliant. It was technical. It was tricky. There's no sides on the course here. You'll just fly straight off if you don't stay. And as you can see, the speed boost around the edge again. That's the risk reward scenario. I did try for one of those. Uh, in an earlier race and uh, realised that, oh, oh, goodness, that's not going to happen, is it? That's, that wasn't going to work for me. As soon as you start to lose it, the walls did not protect me then. I think someone's missile. I'm thinking, oh, nothing to do there, is there? It's a total, total blockage. You kind of almost want your Knight Rider turbo boost moment then, just to get you over a moment like that. Oh, it's all going wrong for me. So I'm using one of the different viewpoints here on board. Again, it kind of gives you that stretched, warped sort of cam, which gives you a really good feeling of speed. Very playable as well. Love, love what they're doing here. So, no, uh, new modes, new tracks. I went through it all uh, testing here with weapons, without weapons. Uh, you know, really trying to get an understanding of what they're doing with the handling, the behavior. Uh, and it's definitely my most sought after indie game of 2017 you know, this is this is one of the few i mean obviously red out's been released as i go off the edge there uh, red out's been released uh, on pc that's always already pretty spectacular and deserves more support and it no doubt will when it comes to console i think this is uh, right there it's uh, it's got so much potential at the moment but i like the technicality of this course in particular i think some elements are harder than others uh, you know that there is one clear route that's clear better than all the others um, loving that look at the, the sort of change in, uh, just moments like that frustrating though you know you have really sort of rush when you get it all right and then suddenly there's some blocking track and there is nowhere to go at that point so working my way up oh, i'm in first so uh, managed to actually get in the lead of a race for a second Oh, and again, I just missed the jump I was talking about earlier, and that sent me off. It's a 
Oh, and I missed it again. It just lined me up there, and I was like, oh, wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready to be set at that reset at that point. I definitely found myself to be more comfortable driving from sort of on the car or inside it than behind it. But I wanted to show you guys the various different viewpoints. So the rank wasn't changing and I wasn't in the lead because I noticed it hasn't changed no matter how many cars have passed me. Oh, I tend to work my way up. Oh, and that's it. Oh, please. No. Oh, I just managed to keep it on the course, if nothing else. But I'm enjoying myself, you know, I, I was enjoying myself playing this. I thought it was a fun, I thought it was a wild ride, I wanted to play it again. It's the sort of thing that when it's completed and when it's all put together, I can see myself really enjoying it. Oh, as soon as you lose it, you know, one of those takeoffs, you know, uh, and that's it, that's blown it for me. I was still rank one, it seems, but now I'm in fourth place. And somebody goes off there as well. I think right in front of the finish line somewhere. Well, I don't know how it works that out. But anyway, I enjoyed the race. And the various different viewpoints. The replay cams look really cool at the end, but there's no actual replays in the game. I look forward to when they are, because some of these viewpoints are really cool that they show. Just, just the movement, the way you're seeing your car tank thing rolling about. Look at that. Pretty darn cool, I think that looks. So that's it for this video, looking at grip. Uh, there'll be some gameplay videos to come that are separate. No comment runs where you won't hear me rambling on as well, uh, if that's your thing and everything. So there'll be some of that coming on the channel. But I look forward to seeing how this develops and we'll be keeping an eye on this along with other cool indie titles coming up as well. It's really improving the genre. But that's it from me for now. As ever, more soon.